I'm not a viejita yet. Hello, what are you called? <laughs> I have things to do. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be testing a bunch of new makeup from Sephora. Most of these items are from my previous haul, which I will have linked up above if you are interested in watching my haul. But yeah, if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I do a ton of testing makeup just like this. And let's get into this video. Okay, so the first thing I actually have is for brows. This is from Rare Beauty. This is the Shape and Fill Duo. They did send this over to me. They sent over black and brown, and I think... I don't know, I haven't even opened this yet, <laughs> but I've seen people's reviews on it. It's a really interesting component because it's like, it's really small and travel friendly. It is powder, which I'm not really used to, but it has a little mirror, so it's perfect for travel. And I believe it also has a brush. Let's see if I can pull it out with my long ass nails here. Got it out. Okay, wow, this is a nice brush. It's a decent size. I thought it was gonna be like tiny. This is a really interesting concept. I'm really hyped for this, honestly. Let's see how the black looks. I like my brows to be dark, but I'm scared that black is gonna be too black because it's like actually black. And then the other one's like gray. And I don't I don't want gray brows. I'm not I'm not a viejita yet. I mean I'm kind of viejita, but like not really. I like that it's magnetic also. I don't know the packaging. This is just such a unique concept. I don't even know. Oh, it's really soft. Actually, this might be the perfect shade for me. It's not gonna be like as, it's not gonna be like putting on a black eyeshadow. I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest. I am pretty sure that if you like really natural brows, you're like this. And I like that it comes with two shades because then you have options to mix to get your perfect shade. Very unique concept. I am really liking this. Definitely really suited for a very natural brow. It might not make my brows as thick as I would like though. That's the only thing. Yeah, so this brow is a lot more sparse and I usually like to draw like a line under so it makes it even with this brow because this brow is a lot thinner for some reason. I was just born that way, okay? Two different brows for sure. If you have really full brows, but like tiny little areas where you want to fill them in, then this is for you. But if you have really sparse brows, then this might be something that you use like after if you want to like more natural look. I like the formula. It's very soft. It's so, so nice. I like this. And the concept is super unique. I don't know. I keep saying that, but I'm just like blown away by this, honestly. This is so cute. I just love it. So cute. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of brow gel just cause I need something on my brows. This is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I like to like shape my brows upwards. I don't know, the fluffy brow still kind of in, you know? Onto the eyes, I do have an eyeshadow primer to try. I'm scared to try this though. Milk Makeup was kind enough to send me over a package. This is the, hello, what are you called? <laughs> This is the Grip Eye Primer. So I have tried the Grip Primer for the face and I do really enjoy that. It does grip your foundation really nicely. It doesn't do anything for pores though. And I'm a little worried that this is not going to cover... I like, you know, like a concealer type base on my eyes only because I like to cover like my discoloration. I think there's a wand. I've seen people use this before. Yeah, there's a wand. So this is interesting. It looks exactly the same as the face primer. So let's see how it goes. It's definitely clear... And it's probably just gonna create like a gripping. It's gonna be like the Urban Decay Primer Potion, which I used to love. It does say to let this dry down before you go in with eyeshadow. I'm gonna like put it all the way to the top. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna be honest. We'll use it anyway. Okay, I've been sitting here for like five minutes and it's still kind of not dry. I feel it sticky, just like the primer feels, but it's not 100% dry. And I'm like, I don't wanna sit here any longer. I have things to do. So we're gonna move on. It is what it is for eyeshadow today. Urban Decay was so nice and they sent over their Eternals collection to me. And I'm such a bad YouTuber and I haven't gotten this video up. So I thought I would try this out. It is still available. It's at Sephora. You could also get it on UrbanDecay.com. And I'm pretty sure at Sephora, the palette is actually on sale. We're gonna try it. They did send me the entire collection. This launched in early October. The movie didn't come out until I want to say end of October or even November. I'm pretty sure it came out like last weekend when I was in New York. I have no idea what The Eternals is about, I'll be quite honest, but I do want to see the movie. I'm a huge Marvel fan, so I was like, when they asked me if I wanted this collection, I was like, yes, please. I would love it because I'm a huge Marvel fan. Yeah, I've never heard of The Eternals, so may, how, how big of a fan am I? Anyway, it has a palette. It comes with two highlighters, which we're also going to use today because I don't have another highlighter to try. There's a bunch of eye pencils in here, which we'll get to when I'm done doing the look. And then we have some lipsticks as well let's start off with the palette this palette is actually on sale for 32 dollars at ulta sephora 
and UrbanDecay.com. It's originally $65 though. It is actually made in the USA of US and or imported ingredients and parts. The vault is actually normally $295, but it's on sale for $147.50. I don't know if this is gonna be a kind of Black Friday sale that they're having on the vault, but that's a lot of products for kind of an, a decent price, you know? Look at this packaging. It is quite bulky, it's quite fat, but here's why. I'm gonna show you there's a pop-up element and that is so cool. I am a sucker for packaging, so I love it. This is the color story. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. I do want to do swatches. I thought I wasn't going to do swatches, but I do. How am I going to do swatches? I'm wearing a long sleeve. Let's figure it out. Hold on. This eyeshadow palette is described as a velvety, ultra blendable shadow. It's laced with bold, energy charged pigments. Create infinite, versatile eye looks that command attention from a mix of metallic gold infused shades, pearl packed mattes, and super pigmented shimmers. So this blue is described as a metallic and I think that's the only metallic. Let me just make sure. Yeah, that's the only metallic. I honestly do not see this blue as a metallic. To me, it looks even like a matte, honestly. I was thinking about deepening my outer corner with it for the look that I'm gonna create today. So that's interesting. There's a lot of micro shimmers. The rest are just mattes. So when you swatch them, they're very, very soft. The mattes feel really nice though, I'm not gonna lie. They feel buttery smooth. I'm sure they're gonna blend out nicely. Let's take devotion. Let's see how this primer holds up though because oh wow this is actually pigmented what i'm gonna take this all over the crease this will be my transition shade this shade actually comes across as much darker than what it looks like in the pan so that's interesting i thought it was gonna be a lot lighter i kind of like it though i'm gonna deepen the crease out with the shade famous which is this like deeper brown i'm just gonna deepen the outer corner with this shade Ooh, that is stunning that deepened out quite nicely i also took it a little bit in the crease i think that that brown is really really nice to deepen out looks i don't think it needs to go much further than that so i can't really complain on the depth in this palette although in the pan it also looks lighter than the way it appears on the eyes i don't know if that has something to do with the primer or if they're just the way the eyeshadow is formulated on the lid i'm gonna first go in with merciful which is the green let's see how it applies just with a brush no setting spray this is very crumbly when i swatched it i was like yup so i tend to always do that is gorgeous i tend to always do my eyes first anyway definitely recommend doing your eyes first using a glitter glue setting spray i think setting spray might hold it together it doesn't really need it because it's like really intense on its own but i just like using a setting spray to like hold everything down you know it just like kind of glues the shimmer shade together so pretty i'm gonna flip my brush over and put some of soaring which is the blue which is not the same formula but i just kind of want to see how it works i'm gonna put it on the outer corner yeah this seems like just like a matte, like a, hmm, how do I word this? Like a satin, there you go, satin. It's very soft and it doesn't have any sparkle. It's not crumbly. I don't see this as metallic at all. This is probably the deepest shade in the palette. And you know what? I might just put it up in the crease a little bit. Just kind of blend it up there. Help tie everything together. I think that'll look really nice. There's like a little tiny sheen and I normally don't like that in the crease, but I think it looks really nice actually. I do have another new primer to try and I'm, I'm scared to do new primers, you know, because I'm trying a new foundation and I don't know how it's gonna go, but we're gonna do it anyway. This is from Huda Beauty. This is the Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. So this is not gonna do anything for pores, for texture, anything like that lately. I've actually not been using a pore filling primer or a smoothing primer. Huda actually did send this over to me. So grateful for that. Let's see how this goes. I've heard this is a dupe for the, I don't know if you could call it a dupe because I think it's the same price as the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. It feels a lot more watery. What? a lot more watery my hands my fingers were stained oh my god i ran out of makeup wipes i cannot deal with life right now it feels like literally water it really does it smells like cucumbers like the cucumber scent like in bath and body works or something it's supposed to be gripping as well but hydrating i needed to have the dry skin so hopefully i'll really like this it's definitely feeling a little tacky like it's gonna grip my foundation and so i'm really really happy about that for foundation i have the dior backstage face and body foundation this is what i hauled in my sephora haul i have the shade 1.5 n it's light nude coverage use your fingers to gently dab one layer of foundation massage onto face for medium coverage apply two layers full perfection coverage oh cool i love this so you can like kind of customize it to what you want to, to the coverage you want ultra buildable coverage second skin finish extreme condition proof 
photo ready finish. So the shade 1.5N, I th bought it because I thought it would match my gradual self tan or my tan, but I think it's somewhere in the middle. It is the way it is. I'm gonna shake this up. I'm gonna use a sponge on this side and a brush on this side and see which one I like more. I'll do one layer at a time and just kind of squeeze it onto my face like so. Yeah, this is not gonna match my self tan for sure. Ooh. This really just covers up my redness. It does seem like a really nice second skin so far. I think the sponge might be taking a lot away from it. Does it have a smell? It kind of smells weird. I feel like it smells like paint. Okay, so that's one layer. Covered everything really nicely. I got my Rare Beauty foundation brush here. I'm just gonna apply it that much, I guess. On this side, yeah. I think this is a foundation I'm gonna like with a brush for sure it is definitely a second skin it's like not matte and not dewy it's perfect it really just covers everything up i really like it so far for concealer i'm not sure this is going to be like the best concealer so i did bring another one just in case like one that i've used before but this is from milk makeup as well they also sent this over to me this is the sunshine under eye tint and brighten it's a brightener but it's also like a tint they sent me a few shades i'm gonna use one because that's just the safest bet i'm not sure that this is gonna give the coverage i want though but the directions do say continuously pump until product is dispensed onto glass rollerball gently roll directly onto the under eye area and blend onto the skin with fingertips a sponge or a concealer brush to build coverage let it set and repeat really interesting looking product that is the glass rollerball on the top i might be here a while so just kidding that was like super quick might need a little it's just like shot out i'm scared that it's gonna like be too much product whoa i probably took too much it does give a lot more coverage than i thought it would wow what i am so impressed with this product right now and this is like the perfect shade for me it is really brightening but it's also like concealing it's not marketed as a concealer though which is interesting the sanitation of this i'm not sure about it there's still a lot of product left on here and i feel like that's gonna go to waste because if i put it back in there it's gonna get all over the cap and that irks me under eyes like look the best that they have ever looked super brightened it just covered everything so impressed to set everything i have the hourglass ambient lighting palette now i'm not sure how this works because it's such a shimmery palette i just don't don't know how it works so we're gonna figure this out together i'm gonna take this first shade and see how it goes hopefully it's not like incredibly shiny i don't want like that shine under my eyes i don't know you know i'm not really seeing much happening yeah this is not something i'm gonna use on my under eyes it's actually like an accentuating everything making my concealer look like absolute basura i'm gonna take a mix of these two and just kind of set my entire face i guess this would be a setting powder for the entire face it just kind of gives like that luminosity it just takes a lot for it to show up i feel like i have to really dig my brush in there i am not sold on this product i'm not gonna lie to you i'm really not hmm kind of disappointed i'm not gonna lie let's quickly do our lower lash line i'm gonna take soaring and this i don't mind putting on my lower lash line i actually think like metallics like this or shimmers in my opinion uh look really really nice on the lower lash line and in the inner corner i'm gonna take cosmic blast this is a stunning shimmer shade look at that that is stunning that is gorgeous overall i like this palette i think i'll use it there's a lot of really fun neutrals and pops of color and i actually think this is a really good formula it's better than the prince formula i won't lie to you like the prince formula was just okay this is much better i think that they actually put some thought into the color story and into the formulation and it's a nice palette and it's on sale now i definitely recommend to check that out finish off the eyes with eyeliner the collection comes with three 24 7 glide on eye pencils the first one is a gold this is cosmic energy i'm a huge fan of these eyeliners from urban decay by the way they come in a bunch of different colors and they're very, very like glidey. They are 24 seven glide on 100%. This one is Cosmic Eternal. They all have metallic finishes. And then we have Cosmic Mission. Oh, it broke. Oh, I hate when that happens. That is very, very creamy. That is a deeper purple than I thought it was gonna be, but it's really, really pretty. I think I'm gonna go with the blue, obviously, since we have the blue going on in the lower lash line anyway, but I am a huge fan of these pencils. I highly recommend them, especially in the shade Perversion, which is the black. But this is gorgeous in the waterline. Even the metallic ones are really, really nice. Oops, I just found another one. This is another 24-7 glide on pencil. This is Cosmic Speed. This is just a gray with some, or black, I guess, with some shimmer. This is not like the blackest black, I would say. It's more of like a dark gray. 
but it's still really nice. Those are the swatches. I like them. The bronzer, I have the Huda Beauty Glowish Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. I have the shade Medium. This is what it looks like. It is so big. I feel like this is a lot of product and it's going to last a very long time. I do like the packaging even though it's plastic. Like I said, I got the shade Medium. I imagined in my head when I looked at pictures of this that it was going to be some sort of putty-like situation, but it's not. It is very powdery. It's just very smooth. This is a very, very warm tone bronzer. I think Medium's gonna work for me right now pretty well this is the laura lee los angeles fan brush by the way it's the l22 from her birthday collection which i don't know if it's still in stock i really like this for bronzer for contour this is really nice actually it's not as deep as i thought it was gonna be for it being medium it actually seems kind of light like i have to build it up it looks darker on the screen than it does in person i am loving this honestly it is really really nice i also have the brush from the same line this is newer in the line and it recently launched i got the shade carrying coral this is significantly smaller though it is cheaper so it's not like it's the same price and it's just a smaller amount of product no this is the size difference that's crazy same kind of packaging though except it's not a clear top it's made in italy wow okay it makes me love it even more let's swatch it Ooh, it's a nice coral shade. It is coral. <laughs> and uh, I think it's a great everyday shade, honestly. Ooh, I love it. I think this is a gorgeous formula because it's not crazy intensely pigmented, so it's not that easy to get carried away. It's buildable, which is the way I like a blush formula to be. Okay, the Urban Decay Eternals collection comes with two highlighters. They look like this. We're made in the USA, same as the palette. I will say the packaging is really, really interesting. But when you open it, it's like this tiny little pan here so this is the shade i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that this is the shade unimind that is a crazy intense gold i'm not sure that this one's gonna work i don't think that either of them is gonna work for me but let's go ahead and swatch them both this is really suited more for deeper skin tones actually that might work for me i don't know man <laughs> they're both really dark i'm gonna try this one and see how it goes Ooh, that is pretty that doesn't look too deep on me at all, actually. I love that glow. That is so pretty. Formula is nice. If you are around my skin tone, this one will work for you. The gold, I'm not sure. If you are a deeper complexion, that'll look really, really nice on you for sure. For lips, we also have from the Eternals collection, we have three lip products. Praying for a nude in one of these, honestly, because uh, I'm not sure. They are all black packaging. Again, made in the USA. This is ancient. Let's swatch it. Oh, these are called the Lip Eclipses, by the way. I've never tried this from Urban Decay. I'm not sure if this is like the only thing they've had this in and the Eternals collection oh that's a really pretty nude brilliance this is probably a topper oh that is gorgeous that is a gorgeous topper it's like a gold oh my god this is cool this is knowledge another like glittery one but it's got like more of a deep undertone <gasps> that is cool these are really really cool i'm obviously gonna take the nude because uh I'm gonna be boring today. I'm not even gonna use a lip liner because... Oh yeah, this color does not go with this look, does it? Like, not even a little bit. That washes me out entirely. I need to go find a lip liner. This is the ColourPop BFF3 lippy pencil. Try this one again. There you go. You see? You could always make it work. I love this ombre effect, actually. This is the final look. I will keep you guys updated on how this makeup wears throughout the day because I'm not going to be doing a wear test. I do have to say, I liked everything that I tried except for the milk eyeshadow base. I don't think it did very much. I think it did. it is probably going to grip it and this is probably going to last a really long time. But I personally like something with pigment. This is why I don't like the Urban Decay primer potion. I just don't. I do like the eyeshadow palette and I think it's actually worth the sale price. Do I think it's worth the $65 price point that the original cost? No. I do think that if you are a huge huge Marvel fan and a huge Eternals fan that you'll really like this palette though. It's just like a collector's item, honestly. I do like Marvel. Would I have purchased this if it wasn't sent to me? Probably not. I think this look is pretty and you can create a ton of looks with this, but I already have a lot of these shades in my collection. It is a good formula. I definitely think it's worth the sale price, so it's worth looking into if you're looking for something like this for sure. I did love the highlighter from this collection. I think it is beautiful and I believe they're also on sale. Basically, the entire collection's on sale. This is a beautiful highlight. If you're on my skin tone, I have 
highly recommend it. I really did love the Glowish cheek products. I think that this bronzer is really nice. I did really like the formula of this. It's very, very soft on the skin. It's not too pigmented, so it doesn't go overboard really easily, but it just overall bronzes up the skin really nicely. I also really like the blush. Same thing with the blush. It's a very similar formula. It doesn't go overboard very easily, so really like this. I like the shade. I think it's a perfect everyday shade. It's not too like clowny. I don't look like a clown. It looks gorgeous. I will say I'm also disappointed in the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I'm just like not really sure what I'm supposed to do with it, to be quite honest. I did really like the foundation. I think it's a really nice medium coverage. I think it is a very nice skin-like finish. I Dior Beauty is really some of my favorite makeup out there. Luxury makeup. It's really, really nice. I do think that the Huda Primer was fine. I think that it did fine. It gripped my makeup. I mean, I, I we'll see how this lasts. The longevity is what matters. The foundation didn't emphasize any texture that I do have texture this doesn't claim to cover texture it just claims to hydrate and grip i was really impressed with this milk makeup i don't even know it's not a concealer but honestly it really did conceal everything it looks really really nice under my eyes it brightened really really nicely and i was just really impressed with it it blended away super easily i was pleasantly surprised by this i'm not gonna lie i was also pleasantly surprised with the rare beauty eyebrow products i like the way my brows look i'm not gonna lie the only thing is if i want like a more bold brow this cannot give it to me obviously it's powder i don't know i was pleasantly surprised by this as well i was really impressed with almost everything so uh, this was a very successful testing new makeup not a fail anyway that completes this video thank you so much for hanging out with me today if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up it helps me out so so much please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye create emphasis create that's like a matte with like a shimmer in it i don't really like those at all so you know what i changed my mind like, but uh i'm gonna take this all over the lid and yeah this i mean what I'm, can you see that yeah see what i'm doing sore what <laughs> sore if you're new here if you're new 